Daniel, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for interviewing me. <laughs> so, Daniel, tell us a little bit about your artwork. Um, my artwork, my biggest, I guess, influence has always been Dolly. And uh, big fan of Dolly, always just love his style. And growing up, that's who I always looked up to, you know, as far as trying to uh, imitate. And uh, just keep at it, kept drawing. And I love colors, you know, as you can see, this is one of my main thing that people always um, comment on when they see my work is that the colors are amazing and they always stand out. And I do a lot of, you know, religious things. I do a lot of uh, controversial things. I try to bring in things that are around us and um, just bring it into a different light. It hasn't been done before. I see a lot of primary colors. Do you favor those versus the uh, the more subtle colors? Do you really like it to pop? Is that is that really why you use those colors? To be honest, I never picked those colors. They just came to me. So I don't really have an answer for that. It's just something that comes to me when I draw. You know, it's they just happen to be the colors I chose. Yeah, the inspiration at the moment. Exactly. No, you were saying about Dolly. So you like to work in the surreal, something that is uh, dreamlike. Exactly. Yeah. I. I find I draw really well realistic things. I draw portraits. I mean, you name it. That's that's the history, the background I have, the technical side. But I find it boring. I find this stuff a lot more interesting. So, so besides Dolly, were there or are there other influences that uh, other artists where you say, well, you know, I'm going to perhaps try this particular style and such. Uh, my teacher. I had a teacher when I was growing up for a Magic uh, Brush Art Studio in Glendale. He had a technique which I also adapted. He was really good. I also love Picasso's work. Uh, big fan of the old masters, Michelangelo, Leonardo, obviously. But again, those things are just, they've been done so much. To me, they're a little bit boring. I respect them very much, but just, uh, I think this is, uh, you know, you got to keep up with the times. Yeah, I, you know, I, I love your work. I, I mean, I love the colors. Uh, have you thought of perhaps doing a, a comic, a, you know, a comic book or some, something with a, a, some sort of a hero or, you know, someone who has some sort of adventure through this surreal world of yours? That's a very interesting idea. I never thought of it, but it's definitely possible one day. That's yeah. a, thank you for the idea. <laughs> You're welcome very much. Uh, <laughs> the intro intellectual property. <laughs> just, just let me get you email so I can email you the, 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 the royalties. There before you, you go. Send them, you know? yeah, that's perfect. You know, I, I know we were talking a little bit off camera. Tell me a little bit about your background. I know you're, you're from Russia. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. I was born in Moscow, Russia. My mother is Armenian. My father is Russian. And my dad, for some reason, has always loved, loved California. It's just he had a dream of always coming here. So when I was about nine or eight years old, he packed us up and brought us over here. And he, we moved to Glendale, and that's where I currently live. And you know, I try to keep up speaking Russian, Armenian, making sure that I don't forget where I come from. Yeah. I know. I know you had studied uh, graphic design, right? Graphic art. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I've always drawn my whole life. Um, while in high school, I always took advanced arts. I graduated with an advanced arts certificate from Glendale High School. Uh, I went to Magic Art, uh, Magic Brush Art School in Glendale, another big uh, place. I learned a lot of my techniques. And after that, I also went to the Art Institute of Los Angeles in Santa Monica. That's where I got my degree in computer animation. And it's definitely a process. You learn a lot in every single place. So I know you mentioned you worked on some uh, major films. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us a few of those titles. I did some work on Van Helsing, older movies, um, Fantastic Four. And these were just compositing work and special effects. I worked on The Incredibles, the cartoon that came out a couple years ago. Uh, those are the biggest names. The other ones probably go away. <laughs> You'd be surprised, right? Yeah, I guess maybe so. <laughs> so, so tell, tell us a little bit about your skateboard work as well, your skateboard designs. Uh, this whole thing actually started with skateboards, and my website, if people want to check them out, it's dunkies.com, spelled D-U-N-K-E-S.com. -E and I do a lot of custom work for a lot of people, and I've done work for Drake. I've done a skateboard for Lil Wayne. I've done it for... Just a bunch of artists, as people wanted to know, you know, they could always visit the website and see it for themselves. Yeah. Too many to name. <laughs> of course, of course. So, so tell us, um, besides uh, your artwork, is there um, some other influencers, 
inf something else that influenced you? Literature, um, besides art, was there something else that really brought this surreal world? Because I'm really wanting to capture the surreal world that right, you right. that I see back there. So you know, is, was there something else that influenced you in creating this world? And does it have a name? Um, <laughs> the, the art does have a name. Yeah. Or what you right. Um, yeah. You know, it's hard to say. I just, I guess, all the years that uh, you know, I'm 20 years old. I guess all the experiences, all the past things that have happened to me in life, you just, it all goes into my artwork. I love, um, I'm a big fan of the universe, space, black holes, all that stuff. And you can see in my artwork, I use a lot of stars, I use a lot of planets, comets, and it's just, um, it's stuff that means kind of a lot to me. And all my drawings, it's not, when you look at them, there's always a lot of deep meanings behind them. It's not just pretty, it's also, you have to look deep into it and try to figure out what I'm trying to say, because everything has a message in it, every single thing. So uh, I could see it. I could see that there was something there. That's why I wanted to dive a little more into it. Daniel, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so very much. And again, I want to say a big thank you to Nick for allowing me to have my artwork at the Avenue of Venice. If you guys need any kind of custom work, this is where to get it. Hey, great. Hey, thanks again. Thank you so much.